Samantha B. This week, we said goodbye to Secretary of State and Principal from an Applejacks commercial, Rex Tillerson. <laughs> Tillerson has truly been one of the worst Secretaries of State of all time. Under his watch, 60% of state's top career diplomats resigned. So it should be good news that Trump fired his ass, but somehow it doesn't feel that way. Maybe because he's trading in Tillerson for CIA Director Mike Pompeo, who's just another yes man, as in, yes, I won't make you read. Pompeo discussed his method of boiling down intelligence reports into three buckets, keeping the presentations to around 30 or 40 minutes. That arrangement is likely one of the things that brought Pompeo's stock up in the president's eyes. What the hell are these buckets? Good news, compliments, and candy? <laughs> The only Pompeo qualification Trump cared about was that he agrees with Trump a lot. At least that's what he said from inside his wind tunnel yesterday. I've worked with Mike Pompeo now for quite some time. We're always on the same wavelength. With Mike, Mike Pompeo, we have a uh, very similar thought process. We have a very good relationship for whatever reason, chemistry, whatever it is. Why do people get along? Yes, sometimes you meet that special someone, and it only takes a moment to know that they're going to let you bomb the shit out of North Korea. <laughs> As we said goodbye to Rex Tillerson, we said hello to a new Democratic representative from Pennsylvania, Connor Lamb, who, <laughs> who squeaked out a victory by less than a thousand votes. Just two years ago, Trump won this district by 20 points. Two years before that, Democrats didn't even bother running an opponent against the Republican incumbent. You know, I'm really enjoying this radical new Democratic strategy called <laughs> trying. Really makes you wonder, what if we keep trying? We've had a lot of numbers tonight. I'm gonna give you one more, 114. That's the number of House districts that are even more competitive, a lot more competitive than the one that we have seen tonight. Hey, Democrats, you know that delectable, unfamiliar aroma you're smelling today? <laughs> it's blood in the water. And yes, I know you're vegans, that's fine. It's hummus in the water, just get to work. <laughs> but the biggest news today isn't that an illegitimate Kennedy child got elected, it's that actual children are leading the way against gun violence. <laughs> country marched out of school this morning. You've got demonstration planned at schools from Maine to Miami, Houston to Honolulu. What are you marching for today? I am marching for gun control and for Congress to step it up to protect our teenagers and our kids and our students. As a 12-year-old, do you really think that you have the power to make change? By myself, I don't think I have the power, but together with all these people here, I think we can make a change. These kids. These kids have been filling me with hope, and I'm sure they've also been filling the GOP establishment with fear. In fact, here's footage of Mitch McConnell reacting to the protest. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we'll come back, Mitch, no! This will be the first generation that the generation before won't be able to call lazy. They marched even if they had to do it alone, they kneeled if they weren't allowed to march, and they spoke up even when their school officials dragged them off the stage. We are not saying that the right to bear arms should be taken away. We are saying it needs to be limited. Guys, we're here for a peaceful demonstration on unity. It's not the place it's school for A speech is peaceful. We're giving you a forum. What? It's a pro Wow, these kids are so mature that now I'm gonna have to be the one to TP that lady's house. <laughs> you know, I have done a number of shows in the wake of mass shootings, and it is one of the worst parts of my job. Not the worst, that's the monthly late night host strip poker game. <laughs> uh, I always win, but somehow that doesn't make it better. John Oliver's birthmark is the stuff of nightmares. It's really gotta get that checked. But gun stories are a close second. I've screamed, I've cried, I've seen staffers have panic attacks because of their own brushes with gun violence. We cover hard topics all the time, but gun violence is the worst because honestly, I never thought anything would change, but I should have known better. I should have known that a generation would come that wouldn't repeat our mistakes. Here I am in my episode after the Orlando shooting, praying, and here I am again in the wake of the Sutherland Springs shooting, also praying, this time with a gospel choir. I didn't know it at the time, but you guys were what I was praying for.
I mean that and a high velocity turtle. We'll be right back. <laughs>